everybody. So the last couple days we have been solving for volume of prisms and cylinders. Today we're going to be still working with volume, but finding volume of cones and pyramids. I'm hoping um, what you notice about these things, these figures, are that prisms and cylinders, they look the same no matter which way you turn it, right? They have two bases. Cones and pyramids come to a point on one end. So how does that affect their volume? Great question. The volume of prisms and cylinders is three times the volume of cones and pyramids. Okay? So that means cones and pyramids can ne cannot hold nearly as much rice, water, ice cream, whatever it may be. They cannot hold nearly as much. Okay? Their volume is a third the volume of prisms and cylinders. Okay? Okay, so, uh, so having said that, let's look at the MAMA formula. The MAMA formula of cones and pyramids looks a lot like the MAMA formula of prisms and cylinders. The difference you see here is that volume is being divided by three. And that goes back to what we just talked about. That is because their volume is a third that of prisms and cylinders. Okay? So now having said that, um, Let's again talk about what all these variables mean here in the MAMA formula. V, obviously you know, represents volume, equals, capital B is the base area, times H is the height of the prism, and then divided by 3. So we're always going to find the base area, multiply it by the height of the prism from base to point, and then divide it by 3, and that will give you your volume. Okay? So let's do problem number 1. This is a cone. We always start with that MAMA formula. And now the base area. Okay, this base is a circle. So area of a circle is pi r squared. Is going in for that capital B. Bring down your h and divide it by 3. Now we're going to substitute our numbers. We're solving for volume here. What is the volume of this cone? I believe your worksheet asks you to use 3.14 for pi, so we're going to do the same here. Use 3.14 for pi. R is radius, which is halfway across a circle, so that's 8. Squared times the height of the pyramid, so from the center of the base to the point is 13. Divide by 3. Now we're going to pick up our calculator and we're going to multiply. So exponents first, that's going to give us times 64 times 13 divided by 3. I'm going to multiply all this at the same time. Times 64 times 13. 2,612 or 8. And now we're going to divide that by 3. That gives us our answer of, I'm going to use the approximately symbol here because I'm rounding, 870.8, and that's cubic inches. Okay. Now, number 2. A pyramid, the base is a triangle. This is a triangular pyramid. So again, oh, let me change my marker color here. So again, we're going to start with the MAMA formula. Where capital B represents base area. Area of a triangle is one half base times height times height divided by three. And now we're going to substitute what we're given. Remember, in here is the base area. So this, uh, all these variables in here are coming from the base. Okay? So that's going to be 1 half. Base of the base is 5. Height of the base is 6. And this second H is height of the entire pyramid, which is also 6. And then divided by 3. Half of 
of 6 is 3, times 5 is 15, and 15 times 6 is 90 to give us our numerator. I'm doing some mental math because I'm running out of room. Divided by 3 will give us our volume of 30, and it's also inches, cubic inches. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to email me. Have a great day.